you have your hats on, I'm going to invite you to take it off with me. Because when we pray, we show respect to our Lord. I know we can put it back on. You know Pope Francis is coming to New York in a couple of days. Amen? That's right. And, uh, and when Pope Francis got elected, I decided um, to write this prayer. And I was so inspired by his first ever uh, speech. And it was called the, uh, the Angelus. At the Angelus is a tradition. So we're going to learn about our faith. We're going to walk together tonight. It's a beautiful prayer um, in honor of Our Lady. And he came out onto the balcony, onto St. Peter's Square, and he spoke. And the first thing that our Holy Father spoke about was forgiveness. He spoke about forgiveness. And I was inspired by his prayer uh, of, with and for the people. And so I wrote this prayer with his prayer. And so it's a spoken word. It's a new style. It's never been done. And I want to share this with you. And so we can pray this together. Amen? Amen. So let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to say, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And you're going to say, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay? The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary. And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. On March 17th of 2013, our new Holy Father, Pope Francis, made it clear. His first Sunday, and his first Angelus blessing... He wanted to make sure that no human being would be left guessing. About God's love, His mercy, and forgiveness, His direct words were, Let us never tire of asking God's forgiveness. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I'm going to say, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, and you're going to reply, Be it done unto me according to your word. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Pope Francis continued, Let us not forget this word. God never tires of forgiving us, but we sometimes tire of asking him to forgive us. Mary, we, your sons and daughters, implore you now to intercede for us. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. I'm going to say, and the word was made flesh, and together we're all going to bow and say, and dwelt amongst us. Amen? Amen. And the word was made flesh, and, and dwelt amongst us. us. Love took on flesh, and this would eventually be put to death. Yet in the midst of his being beaten and mistreated, Jesus looked up to heaven and pleaded, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He was obviously referring to me and you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I'm going to say, pray for us, O most holy mother of God. And you're going to respond, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Pray for us, O most holy mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Mary, seat of wisdom, pray for us. Mary, queen of peace, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.